My name is Les Boroshevich, I'm Chief Executive uh, of the Medical Research Council. MRC eval is a new system that we are introducing in order to monitor and evaluate how the Medical Research Council is making use of the £700 million uh, of taxpayers' money that is given to us to invest in biomedical research for the United Kingdom. As the old adage goes, no taxation without representation, it is perfectly appropriate that we're asked periodically what is it that we have actually achieved uh, with this resource. Now I know, um, and you know, that biomedical research is extremely important for the United Kingdom, and actually we happen to be very good at it. What's the sort of information that we'll be looking to collect? Well, firstly, we will want to collect data on scientific output. We're trying to make this easier by enabling, for example, PubMed uh, material to be inserted directly into your responses. So the system has to be, and we hope, is going to be easy to use. And it's going to replace a lot of the paper evaluation that has previously taken place. It will allow you to highlight your scientific achievements, such as, for example, the identification of the FTO gene and its importance in the obesity epidemic and a large number of the other genes that are being dis, uh, discovered and described by MRC investigators. Secondly, we need to know about collaborations. Um, as you know, it is very important that we highlight where we interact well with the commercial sector. And we know in the course of their investigations, between 10 to 20 percent of all MRC investigators carry out very productive interactions with this sector. We need to be able to record that. And thirdly, we need to know what happens to all of the investigators that you uh, support through the grants that the MRC gives. We need to ensure that their careers develop. MRC eval has been developed as a system which should be firstly easy to use, collect data once and not have to uh, ask people to repeat that information, and as a consequence to make sure that it is timely. Now all three of those are really very important. It was therefore developed in, in association with a large number of scientists who I'm very grateful to uh, for the time that they have taken to help us in that development. We've tried to ask the smallest possible number of questions to give us the answers uh, that, that we are uh, going to need, to make sure that the system is open and transparent so that the investigators can actually look at the information that's actually there, amend it and adjust it as they feel is appropriate, um, and to make sure that we can work with other stakeholders who could utilize particularly the aggregated information or host institutions that are helping us by uh, hosting the um, science that we're trying to do, uh, also being able to share that information with us. We need the information in order to be able to address uh, the fundamental question of how uh, we can account back to those people, particularly the policy makers and government, who actually provide us with the resource uh, to assure them that we are actually spending that resource in an appropriate way. And that means that we have to be able to show that we are delivering scientific uh, output of the highest international quality, that we are developing scientific careers effectively, and that we're delivering overall economic benefit to the country as a consequence of this investment. We know from our own experience that there is a very good story to tell. Our research is successful, our researchers are internationally renowned, and the, whilst the process uh, of assessing applications to the Medical Research Councils uh, are rigorous, we also know that the results uh, are excellent. What we have to ensure is that we have timely and accurate data to make the best case possible uh, for the future as well. And that's why eval has been developed and I do hope it will have your full support.